my path to become an LPN instructor was a little varied compared to some others. I started out by attempting to go to nursing school right out of high school, and it wasn't really um, the way that my life needed to go at that point. I ended up uh, struggling for a little bit, um, trying to find a nursing program that I could get into, and I ended up uh, doing some coursework, pre-coursework, and ended up um, finding out about the LPN program through my aunt. She worked for the options program for DCIU, and she said that within a year I could become a nurse. And this excited me because I wanted to get working and educated and out there. So I started working for the DCIU program for Head Start. Um, I was their program nurse for many, many years, and I actually moved over to Chester County's Head Start program for many years as an LPN as well. I became a supervisor of their program, and I really enjoyed it, but I started to get that itch that I needed to go back to school. I started my career at Temple University Hospital as a registered nurse, and I, I spent a lot of time there <laughs> learning and adapting and, and realized I loved teaching. When I was teaching the, the patients, when I was teaching students, when I was teaching people on the floor as new employees, I really did find my calling. And Kate McNamara reached out to me and said, I have opportunities for part-time instructors. Would you like to come and teach clinical? So I thought, here's another big leap and an opportunity, and I, I took that leap. And I'm very glad I did so, and I actually just accepted an offer for a full-time position starting in July as well. I am Stacey Delaney, and this is my DCTS pathway to becoming an LPN.